Greetings, Scorpio, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. Hi, and I hope you're doing wonderfully well. And let's jump right in and see what <clears throat> your angel oracles want you to know today. And I invite you to bring a question to this reading so you can uh, personalize each of the cards and use them to go deep, um, deeper into what it is that you're looking for guidance or information on. Well, my Scorpio, you need to know holy love. Well, holy love is coming in. Look at that beautiful angel looking at you so uh, direct and clear. This sense of unconditional love is around you. And that is beautiful for my Scorpios. And let's begin with the tarot. And thank you, Spirit Guides, for overseeing this reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And thank you so much for being here and bringing us precise, clear, and resonating information for my Scorpios. And so it is. And this is you, Scorpio, the Ace of Wands. Wow. Well, you are setting out on this question like a match, just lighting against uh, the stone and just firing up about something. And the offering is coming out of the blue from your higher mind, from an intuition. And it's saying, I've got to take this out there. It's something passionate, uh, something new, something creative, something uh, that makes you feel like on fire. So that is the beginning of creation itself in a way. So let's get into the story. And <clears throat> what helps or hurts is a, a sense of work, a craftsmanship, working on a project, um, something in your career that you've worked hard for, or something that has connected you to the uh, sense of aid, of, of going for something, of being recognized, um, a completing something in the realm of work, um, recognition. And it has to do with your finances, your career. But that is a challenge to, uh, or this is what um, helps or hurts or could be an obstacle to this flame, this fire, something about um, your uh, sense of what you've been working on financially. And at the foundation, there's a judgment call. Well, Scorpio, uh, the angel Gabriel is coming down from the heavens with the trumpet and the sound, these vibrations. And you know that uh, we're in this quantum field of vibration and um, that's what is the interconnected um, patterning within us. It's in our neurotransmitters and it's saying something is coming out and waking you up uh, to uh, a judgment, a judgment call about something because this is at the foundation, it could be even a judgment call is being asked of you but it's out of your awareness. It's something you're not um, awakened to yet. You can't see it yet. It's at the foundation, but also it could be um, um, out of your field of um, understanding yet. But it's saying, something is saying, wake up. Um, wake up to this rebirth being called, uh, to a totally new way of living and to have some judgment about and, and um, you know, do the Ben Franklin balance, go down the list of the pros and cons as you look over a question and really be um, clear and not just get hung up in these uh, fantasies about what you want, but to wake up to the truth and to be liberated from that. Because what just happened is the page of pentacles, well, you've taken this, um, these eight um, pentacles and now you're uh, taking them out to the next stage. In the recent past, you've um, been offered an opportunity, um, something with an investment or how you've been using your money and that's what happened in the recent past. Um, some money coming in for you to invest. Uh, and then at the <clears throat> um, 
crown what you're seeing now, what's being um, a possible uh, outcome of this is justice. With Scorpio, when justice sits on her throne with her sword and scales, it's saying that there could be a legal a situation you're involved in, an actual court case, or something that involves um, you know, a class action suit, or something involved with having to um, make a very clear distinction, because this is at the crown between what's right and wrong, what's fair and unfair. And that's what, um, and it's maybe connected to this judgment, justice. And what is coming right now for you to see is this five of swords. Well, there's been some fighting. There's been a face, it, a face up. What's coming is a, um, a battle around something. <clears throat> it could be a battle around what uh, this judgment call is uh, illuminating. Or it could be a battle call around this justice card. Because this is a card where there are winners and losers of victims and victimizers. And uh, you see this figure is looking back toward um, justice. So uh, actions do have consequences, Scorpio, and that's maybe connected to this in some level, but let's see, how do you see yourself? Will you see yourself as um, being left out in the cold? Maybe you see yourself in terms of this ace of wands as this spark, this energy, this passion, well, you see yourself as less than, not good enough, um, <clears throat> that you could uh, receive help and um, turn um, to help, whether it's um, just help in terms of getting um, a therapy or counseling or seeing a minister or get going into a church, a sanctuary, but it's saying that um, you see yourself at, in this question, how you think about it, is um, not having enough, not being good enough, not uh, being having to scramble with your money, um, scramble with something about uh, your friendship or ability to be with and do what other people are doing because of financial difficulty. But it's saying um, to uh, turn to uh, um, higher visions to get help. And the Wheel of Fortune is um, you, coming around as you see your environment is uh, the situation around you, the people you're dealing with. You see the wheel, you see something turning, fortune, expansion, luck, <clears throat> prosperity. And your hope and fear is uh, to be stuck in a crossroad, to be not able to make a decision, to be caught up in uh, uh, dualities in your mind uh, in some, such a way that you can't really accurately make good choices and decisions. And your advice or the goal is to um, go forward, uh, keep planning, keep looking forward, waiting for your ships to come in. This might be a time where you do have to, uh, you're making plans maybe to take a trip or travel, but you're in the planning stage. So a very <clears throat> interesting yeah. reading, and let's get um, some clarification for my Scorpios. And I hope this resonating is resonating with you. There's some powerful cards with, so angel gods, why is the ace of wands here for Scorpio? Why is the ace of wands here? Thank you. Thank you. Why is the ace of wands here? Well, the five of pentacles came out again, destitution. Well, maybe this ace of wands is, um, clarified by destitution, that you're feeling like um, that this spark, <clears throat> this life force, this opportunity uh, that you're feeling um, impoverished, destitute, uh, you won't have that um, at a loss, not good enough. Uh, just that spark will be dampened by um, this fear-based um, idea that you won't have enough and everything's just about money and that is, um, you don't know how much amazing um, 
unconditional love we have all around us from um, the divine, our alliance with that source, with the universal energy. And what is this challenge, the eight of pentacles, why? Well, the two of wands, well, you, you're planning something with your work. Maybe you have been working on something financially, a craft, a skill, um, honing your skill at something and making a plan with it. And that um, is going to challenge this destitution. And the judgment is <clears throat> answered by judgment. That is uncanny. That's crazy, Scorpio. That's unusual. But judgment is twice, so it's saying 10-10, um, uh, something's coming to completion. And you're waking up, you're hearing something. Maybe you're actually hearing voices in your head saying, um, wake up to something, look at this. But uh, look at this reflection. Um, and to <clears throat> let this sound awaken you and to a whole new life from a kind of sense of being um, the walking dead till you're waking up to something and you have to take a responsibility and really look at something and that will be very transformative and powerful because these are both at the foundation and out of your a field of um, awareness right now. Wow, and the um, <clears throat> page of pentacles is seven, of cups, choices to be made. And these could also be the seven deadly sins, those illusions, those delusions uh, that choices bring where we think, oh, if I have this, I'll, if I have this money, if I get this, um, that I'll be happy. But we know that um, um, no situation, no person, no thing, no bank account will give us that peace that comes first. Um, and then out of that um, comes all the abundance because that's the a way and the law of manifestation um, as we come into justice. You have to look at stability. The Four of Pentacles saying um, the justice has to do somehow with balancing out your money and of being possessive. This has to often to do with uh, possessiveness in a relationship or with money or with other people's money or with how you're um, holding on to things and not sharing and greediness. And there's something um, about that stability with justice. And the five of swords, as right now, is clarified by the sun. Well, the sun is that happiness an illumination that will shine on whatever it is that is this conflict in your mind or these battles or this sense of, um, in a way, revenge or wanting to win at all cost. And the sun is going to shine on that. And then that leads again, you've got another five of pentacles is answered by the magician. We'll take that um, answer from the spirits, from your um, from the Holy Spirit and bring that down and know that you are blessed and make magic to manifest something is um, from that destitution will be magic. We will make something real. And the wheel of fortune in your environment leads to the emperor. Well, your environment is showing you this power, authority, structure, stability, um, being able to manage um, all of the domains of the physical world and be very powerful and uh, to uh, command authority. And that's saying that in your environment, there's a lot of uh, wheel moving and toward that expansion, toward uh, authority and power over one's own situation. And this indecision as your hope and fear is uh, answered by the Hierophant will saying, um, make those decisions, um, that hope and fear is the decision will be wrought in terms of what is just and true as above so below, as um, the uh, religious authorities or respected traditions 
and that is your hope and fear that that will be in your um, favor um, to align with this contract, with your belief systems, with something that endures. Could have something to do with an indecision about um, a commitment or a marriage. And the final advice of going out and planning and taking something out into the world, uh, your energy, your, your uh, passion, your creativity, what you want to do in life. And that's answered by the hermit. Well, it's almost like saying uh, before you go out there and are waiting for something, you need to go inward toward self-knowledge, toward um, this inner wisdom toward introspection and seeing things not only just about the outside um, material realm, but also about what's in that lantern, that star you're following. You're following your inner light, that true self. So amazing reading for you, Scorpio, and let's get one final, and you've got holy love from your angel oracle. So it's saying to look into this holy love as you go through some of these cards, and that's the judgment call, twice at the foundation. That is a very powerful reading. And then you've got so many major arcana um, with the justice and the sun, and you've got judgment twice, and the magician, and the wheel of fortune, <laughs> the emperor, and the hierophant, and the hermit. Oh my God, I mean, what is it um, that your ancestors are saying, wake up, Scorpio, there's something powerful, powerful, powerful. And these cards want to stick together, so let me just see, what is this card that you need to know? Ignite your passion. Well, that takes us back to the beginning question. Ignite your passion. And one more card, Elder, healing through the lineage. Well, maybe it's time to get in touch with that own inner uh, lineage within you. Tap into your um, ancestors. So a beautiful reading, Scorpio. And if you like the way I read, and please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up and tell me how this uh, story is unfolding for you. There's so many, it's a major reading because there's so many major arcana in this card and these cards here. And so, um, I, you know you, um, <clears throat> you know I love you, Scorpio, and we're all in this together. I'm just a little tongue-tied with how many uh, powerful energies and the vibrations around this reading. And so, um, see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>